Lady Dragon, and welcome back to the Eureka server. I am about to uh, go head off for a little, say a little, it's an awfully long journey that I've got to make. Uh, we're going to, well, I've already paid for my shop area. I am going to start harvesting these trees and, of course, replant them. <laughs> of course. So we are going to open the shop, uh, for the wood shop which is going to be called Timber, and also we're going to have another one which sells concrete. So this is what I've got so far. I you know I need to work, get some more of the black and the uh, white, and there's quite a lot of other colours, but at the minute, because we haven't defeated the Ender Dragon, getting there means I have to take only half of this chest with me, because obviously you can only fit three, three rows, so I have to make this trip harvesting all this power, well, turning it into full-on concrete. So I am off to do that now. So right up there, that's uh, just a few torches to indicate whereabouts I'm living at the minute. So the actual spawn location isn't far from here. I was looking for a mountain. The thing that I wanted was actually a, a mountain with a great big gaping hole in it through both sides if I could find it that would have been fantastic and since the server had been ooh, had been open for a few days I didn't actually want to uh, <laughs> go off wandering around straight away I wanted to settle down and just uh, gather some stuff and get started because I had ideas for the shots before I was uh, actually before I managed to get on the server, uh, I don't know who else has uh, who else has uh, hello spiders, who's opened up shop well paid for the land. So at the minute the shops aren't open because our our uh, big boss, the uh, moderator of the uh, website, of the, uh, the server, I mean, uh, he's still sorting out with uh, one or two other people. So of course, with me opening up the uh, concrete shop is a pain it was a real pain in the booty to do so this whole hello this whole place hey, hello hello and this is of course on hard yeah come on yeah Ooh. come on hey stop that i need those bones of course because i need the uh white dye not an awful lot here. I thought there was more. So, oh well. But I left quite a bit more. Actually, that's a good thing that I didn't leave so much hanging around in here. There. What do I want to leave? Should I leave the wool or the oak? I'll leave that. And I'll take that. Boop. I'll leave that chest because, of course, I'm going to come back and. Uh, oh no, wrong button. <laughs> I'm going to come back and uh, gather up all that stuff. And I will be going to the nether quite soon because of course I need the trees I need I need to get the logs for my little shop the plot is 11 by 11 so not a giant size plot but still it's a it's a plot that we have got and I was actually the first person there <laughs> which was nice really nice to be the first person to claim my spots and Eureka is uh, and Eureka is a uh, like a hermit craft server so there's quite a few of us on here sometimes there's uh, more than others of course everyone ends up getting getting busy I don't have any books at the minute I probably will make them I've got a few more books up here protection and all that I'm down to 18 diamonds, of course I've been getting that and I haven't really <laughs> done much else. And that's what's left of, well, all my stuff. I've got a little bit of dye over here, let's, uh, these are the ones that I, I don't have, sp I didn't have space for, I wanted to make them all a bit even, you know, like in here. I wanted to have each row to be even and of course I've got two two lots extra for that one 
oh, it's going to be a hell of a journey going over to uh, <laughs> the mushroom biome. It's over a thousand blocks away. What's the coordinates here? Uh, minus 1,200, roughly minus 1,000. Yeah, and I'm still over near the spawn area. Fun times. And I will be uh, sorting out this place, making it a bit more homely instead of this. <laughs> so I'm not too sure on what I am going to do with it at the minute. Uh, if I don't find a place soon, then I'm just going to build up this here. It's going to be lots of stone pillars coming up. There's going to be big statues, uh, little ones a bit further down, and it's going to lead up towards here. It's going to be a big staircase going up, and I want to make it look a bit more uh, like old and ruined, and uh, just try and make it look like a old castle house type of thing. I'm not too sure exactly on what I'm going to do, but that's roughly what I would like to achieve. Well, here we are back at the Mushroom Island and the shopping district. Which the, there is going to be some mini games eventually over there. Got that little sign there, a little fairly biggish sign, MG. So that's the uh, mini games area and here is where the plots are. These are my two, number one, number two, there's plot three. I haven't caught, uh, not, I haven't purchased any more yet. I probably will do very soon. But this is what the we've got to work with, is this space here. Fairly decent, and I've got mushrooms around here, which is perfect because I would like to uh, go through that portal eventually, or use the one back at the, uh, back at, uh, the spawn area, and go and get some trees, because at the minute, this is my inventory full of the tree, uh, the uh, log, the planks and stuff that we've got for now. So I think it's time to try and set up shop. So let's get to it. So I've got a little bit uh, started here, just a little bit of framework. I want to possibly build a little kind of awning thing coming out of there. I'm not sure at the minute. I'm just going to play about with some ideas. So it was going to be out here and going way out. But then it would be a bit boring turning it into one great big box. And so it gives us actually there's loads of room when you think about it. When you hear 11 by 11, you think that's not a lot of space when you think about it. But then it is quite a bit of space because we could still build higher as you know we could build i think we can build as high as we like uh but yeah i'm gonna uh, get more stock in here i've moved all my chests so they're nice and safe at the minute just in case if people there uh, would like to grab a few things well, I, I seriously doubt anyone would take anything two spawn follow torches <gasps> I need, I need, oh, hello. Those bloody pigs, they're nasty things. But, follow torches to spawn. Okay, we can do this. Does this take me to the spawn? Nope, spawn. Wow. This is where I want to be. This is it. This is. Although I'm going to come back here and uh, gather up all these if I manage to live. Okay, it's this way. Okay, good. Right, right, right. This way. Good. More torches. More torches. Good. Good. Good, good. This is nice. The nevers are tending to. Quite the uh, colourful but seriously dangerous place to, 
to hang out for the for any amount of time. Okay, follow the torches. I am following the torches. Hey, I think this is the one. This is right as it said, right at spawn. That is amazing. I am so happy about that finding. Yay! I'm so happy that I managed to find <laughs> to find it. Now to find our way back home. I must say, it is uh, it does look a little bit different after I chopped down just a, a few trees, and there's still an awful lot more to go. But yeah, I will be replanting and uh, possibly making custom trees as well. I would like a water streamer, nice waterfall to come down from there, and I'll build stat a statue or multiple statues apart from the ones that are going to be going down here either side and I'll be doing a nice pathway and all that make it all look quite old as I mentioned a little bit earlier uh, but yeah I was thinking of doing what if I did like a big head around here or possibly just a statue on that side statue on that side and have the water like falling out of the mouth of like a dragon or some sort of uh, yeah, the dragon's an interesting idea, although I'm not really at the skill level to make something like that. Right. Uh -huh. I'm not too sure on... Well, I, mean, I haven't just started really, but... Oak floor, I'm not too sure. We've got our spruce going all along here. Uh, and oak on the floor. I'm going to just uh, keep going. So we've got our framework with the spruce, and we've also got the oak flooring in. I'm not too sure about the oak floor. I probably will change it. Uh, the entrance way, you know, we've got so much room. I can do some little decorations out in the front. Possibly we'll do a, for both shops, a little chest or two uh, for like odd bits. Uh, come along and just uh, buy it cheap. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Your eyes are so piercing, they just pierce through your soul. Oh, that's right, walk away. I'm walking away. Hello. Mm. Mm. To you too. I can still see you, you know. Don't try to hide from me.
everyone it turns out we are off to go beat the ender dragon so <laughs> i'll finish this episode now and i will see you all in the next one when i will hopefully not have died <laughs> i've still got my zero kill zero death streak going on so yeah uh, hopefully next time i will still be on with zero deaths and hopefully some shulkers ready for the shot so i'll see you all later bye for now